Sandra as a guest at. My name is Sandra, I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I'd like to welcome you to my home. I have so much love and motivation to give everyone, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a go and do it together. So here we go. If you stay till the end, you'll have a simple recipe for a family of six, and hopefully we can both motivate each other to continue doing this more often. All right, here we go. Welcome to my crazy home. It can get quite overwhelming sometimes and it's really tough to get motivated. But once I make a start, it puts me in a better headspace to get things done. So please join me and here we go. This is my robot vacuum. It's one of my best friends when I clean. I cannot recommend it enough. I program it on my phone and off it goes as I continue doing other things. It's worth every cent. I have a full house of six and as you can see my laundry is bedlam. I usually categorize them after washing them in age order and fold them in a way so that I can put them in collapsible baskets. These collapsible baskets are easy to store and once I fill them up with their clothing I drop them off in each of their bedrooms. Do you have something like that in place? light up a candle this helps me get me more motivated my favorite scent is vanilla caramel I wonder does anyone else do something like that whilst they're doing their housework are your beds made every day sometimes I'm guilty in not doing my own bed my kids usually do their own but today they were a bit lazy so I decided to get in and get stuck into every bedroom. This is my son's bedroom. He usually leaves in the morning at around quarter to six. And he hardly makes his bed. So today I decided to make it for him. I change his pillowcase quite regularly. This helps with his breakouts. I usually wash the bed sheets every two weeks, but lately I have been a bit lazy. How often do you wash your bed sheets? Is it normal to do it every two weeks? So welcome to my bedlam of a tornado bedroom. It is crazy sometimes. I don't seem to get to work straight away. I always leave it till last. As you can see, that's why it gets to this point. I thank you for joining me as it's giving me a lot of motivation. So if you're having a tough day, you don't need to be perfect. You just do a little small tidy like I am doing today and just get it started. So 
the bedrooms are finished for now and we're unstacking the dishwasher. How cool is it when one of your kids give you a hand? Gives us time to catch up and have a bit of a chat as their lives are just as busy as ours. Second to my washing machine, my dishwasher is the hardest working machine in our family. It puts us in a good manageable routine when there's so many people, especially adult children, there are so many dishes when you cook. So I use it relentlessly. Do you love your dishwasher as much as I do? So here we go, the second stacking of my dishes in my dishwasher. I do rinse them quite often because the results are much better. Do you rinse your dishes before you stack them? I usually like to scrub down my sink before I even get started on prepping for dinner. I just feel like when the kitchen is nice, tidy and the sink is empty, you can then begin the, the evening prepping. In the background you can see my daughter just barely emptying some rice in our rice cooker. So we begin prepping for dinner for our family of six and tonight we're only having five. So hope you enjoy our little recipe that's coming up very soon. I usually eyeball how much rice I need for the kids. So I put it in my rice cooker, add a bit of salt and set and forget. This is such a simple meal when you just don't feel like cooking. It fills up all the tummies in your family and pretty much it's whatever you have in your pantry and of course you need some kind of minced meat. It's either beef, pork or chicken they both well they all taste just as nice Do you like sitting down and having a family meal? Our normal time is around 6 p.m. and we try all to get together by that time. Not always easy when everyone's got jobs and responsibilities.
So when you're adding ingredients, do you prefer to eye out the amount that you um, add in or do you prefer doing it to the measurement? You probably notice that I'm not that fussy in regards to measuring the ingredients I add in. I mean, usually I out and, and see to what taste I like and my family likes. So I just take a punt. To be honest, you can't really go wrong with this recipe. It's so simple. When you see the ingredients and what you add and the results are so yummy, you're going to have this as one of your favorites on a weekly turnaround. It doesn't take long to completely finish cooking but as long as you lower the temperature and let it simmer for at least 20 minutes and make sure there's enough juice to add to your rice, it's perfected.